Creating a look. In Looker, save reports are called looks. If you've ever run a report under the Data Analysis tab in Clarity, then you're already familiar with the type of reports you can make with Looker. Reports that look like this. This video will delve deeper into the steps you might take to create a look. We will cover adding and removing fields, creating filters and pivots, and selecting visualizations for your final product. Although creating your first report may be intimidating, Looker makes it easy to master. Think of creating a report as answering questions. If you know which questions you want to answer and have taken the time to review the fields in each category on the HMIS Performance Explorer, you're halfway there to creating your report. The first thing you'll want to do is identify which fields represent each aspect of your question, then add those fields to your report. For example, if your executive director asked you how many clients with disabilities exited to permanent housing, you would need to add a field for disabilities and a field for exit destination, as well as a field to count the enrollments that fit that description. Let's take a look at how you might do this in Looker. To find fields, either go directly to that category and expand the selection to find the field. Or you can type in a partial or complete field name in the search bar and Looker will automatically populate matches. The matches will be returned under category names. When searching for a field through the search box, make sure you choose the field under the correct category. The category represents either the collection point, such as entry screen or exit screen, or the general category. Remember to review the common Looker fields article linked in the description for a guide on where data in each category is pulled from an HMIS. Let's do an example. If you type in non-cash benefits, you will see that the field exists in several categories, including client assessment, entry screen, follow-up screen, status update screen, and update exit screen. If you're interested in non-cash benefits at entry, you would choose the field under the entry screen category. However, if you're interested in non-cash benefits at exit, you would choose a field under the Update Exit screen. To add a field to your look, click the name. The field will now be highlighted in white on the field picker, which signifies that it has been added to the data bar. As mentioned in the previous video, dimensions will allow you to group data by the unique values in the dimension. You can also display data grouped by combinations of unique values by adding more than one dimension. For example, let's say you wanted to see the gender and age distribution of clients at your agency. Select clients gender. Clients age tier. And clients number of clients. And click run. As you add fields, you can click Run to populate results and ensure that the fields you've added have answered your questions. Now you will see how many unduplic unduplicated clients are within each unique combination of the values within the gender dimension and the values within the age tier dimension. To sort data, click the name of the field on which you want to sort. Click the field name again to reverse the sorting. To sort on multiple fields, you will first click the first field name, then hold shift and click additional field names in the order you want to sort. To remove fields from your look, either click the name again in the field picker, or click the gear icon next to the field name in the data bar and click remove. Now that you've added all the fields you need, you might want to add some conditions to limit which data shows in your report. Adding or removing filters 
will allow you to narrow or expand the values visible in your look. Use this feature so that your report only displays the data that interests you. By default, the Enrollments Reported Period filter will be added to your report. The report ranges set in this filter will determine what data shows. Looker will only pull data from HMIS for the enrollments during the range provided in this filter. When setting date ranges, you will notice that the end date in the date range is preceded by the phrase until before. This means that you will need to add a day to the end of the reporting period. For example, if you want to see all of the data from 7.01.2018 until 6.30.2019, you would enter the start date as usual. But for the end date, you would enter 2019.7.01. This is because 6.30.2019 is the date before 7.01.2019. To add a filter to your report, either hover over the field name in the field picker and click Filter, or in the data bar, click the gear icon and click Filter. The word Filter next to the field name will now be highlighted in the field picker sidebar. And in the filter bar, you will now see the field name an operator, and a box in which you can specify the values for the filter. Look through the operators to see which one fits the type of filtering that you'd like to do. Then, type in values or a value that completes the filtering you want into the value box. You may also click the value box to see which values are available for this field. Let's do a few examples. Let's say you only want to see the data for females and males below age 24 in your agency in the past year. Select the gender field and the age tier fields as filters. For gender, you only want to see females. So select is equal to for the operator, then begin typing female in the value box. Looker should auto-suggest a value which you can add to the value box by clicking it. You can add more than one value to the value box. Since you also want to see data for males, begin typing male and then click male to add it to the value box. For age tier, the operator defaults to is and the value box has fixed options. Looking at the value box, if we select age tier is 18 to 24, we will filter results to see clients below 24, but we won't see those who are aged 0 to 17 or below 0. Click the plus sign next to the field name to add another condition to this field to include these age tiers. Now the age tier filter will show you data in the client if the client is below 0. 0 to 17, or 18 to 24. If you decide you want to remove a condition, click X next to that condition. For example, if you no longer want to see clients below 0, click X next to that condition. The last choice to make before finalizing your report is selecting how to visualize your data. Before going over that, I want to mention one last feature which could affect your final visualization. As I mentioned earlier, adding more than one field to a report will display all of the unique combinations of the values in those fields. Right now, we see each, we see each combination of gender and age tier values set by our filters. Since we have two values for gender, male and female, and two values for age tier, 0 to 17 and 18 to 24, there are four possible combinations, so the data bar shows four rows. The display doesn't look that complicated, but if our report included fields with more than two values, the many combinations could make the data hard to understand.
To make the data easier to understand, we can group data in the display by a field by using the pivot feature. To use one of the fields in the look as a column by which to group data, pivot on that field. To pivot on a field, either click pivot next to the field name in the field picker sidebar, or click pivot from the gear icon next to the field name in the data bar. Note that you can pivot by multiple fields. Let's click pivot next to the age tier and then click run. See that the results look much more organized and that the word pivot is now highlighted next to the field name in the field picker sidebar. To remove a pivot, either click pivot next to the field name on the field picker or from the gear icon in the data bar, click unpivot. Now to select the visualization for your look, click the visualization bar to expand it. The pivot feature affects your visualization in one of two ways. First, the table visualization defaults to the data bar view. So whatever pivots you've included in the data bar will now show in your final world part if you selected the table visualization. Second, since pivoting on a field groups your results by that field, including a pivot in your report will also format your visualization based on that grouping. Notice that the column bar and bar visualization visualizations have a different color for each value in the age tier. That is because we have pivoted by the age tier. If you add multiple pivots, the formatting groups will update accordingly. Unpivoting will result in the same color formatting for all possible combinations. Let's keep the age pivot for now. Click through the icons on the visualization bar to see the other visualization options. And click the three dots to view the entire list of options. We will go over how to choose the best visualization option for your data type in video four. For now, let's go over some ways to customize your visualization. Click the gear icon next to edit to see which customization options are available. The plot tab will allow you to choose between subtypes of the visualization. For example, on the bar visualization plot tab, you could choose to leave it as is or select the stacked visualization subtype to view your data as one continuous bar. You could also click stack percentage to change the visualization to the subtype that shows the portion of the whole each value represents. Use the series tab to select the color collection, which defines the palette for your visualization. Edit labels, or customize the color assigned to a certain value. You can also change label names here. The changes made here will be updated in your visualization bar in real time. Look through the options you have here as you experiment with Looker. This is the last step in creating a report, and we've come to the end of our video. To go over some advanced features in Looker, watch video four. To learn how to save, share, or delete your looks, watch video five.